Hey guys, in this video I've decided to try out macOS 26 public beta and I'm also using DaVinci Resolve 20 Studio. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go through how to do the upgrade so you can make sure everything works perfectly and if it doesn't work perfectly how you can roll it back to a previous version. So there's steps in here that you don't want to miss out so let's get on with it. This option is the safest way to do it, but it's a bit more time consuming. We're gonna set up a time machine backup before you start. To do that, we wanna to go to system settings and then in the search type time machine. And then you just go and add a backup disk, choose where you wanna back it up to. Worst case scenario is you can roll your back back to exactly how it was before you started. And then I'm gonna go into another method, which is the one I use, which is quicker because mine's just a main editing system. If anything goes wrong, I've got no problems wiping the OS and reinstalling everything, worst case scenario. But for me, I did the upgrade direct and it's all worked perfectly. So it saved myself a lot of time. But if in doubt, do a time machine backup and you can't go wrong. So the first thing we wanna do is go into DaVinci Resolve. And then over on the left-hand side, you wanna click on projects. And then we want to click on the info so you can click on details and then you want to go to backup and then you're just going to choose a location because it's going to be a new os install i'm going to put that on an external drive so i'm just going to go into my videos folder and then i've got one called davinci resolve backups so i'm going to put that in here and it's also handy if you put a date on this so you know when it was or as you end up with a load of projects called davinci resolve backup projects so I'm going to put today's date on, which is the 4th of the 8th, 2025. And then we just press save. And then press backup. And it might take a few moments for it to do it. There we go. Project library backed up successfully. So at least if anything goes wrong, we can restore it to that previous point. I had a little problem with the recording, it decided to cut off, so I've got to do this bit again. Well, you want to go into system settings, then you're going to get to general software update. So beta updates off, you want to click on I, and then you want to turn it on, and you want to have macOS Tio 26 public beta, press done, and it's going to do a check. On yours, you should get an option up here that says update now or upgrade. You just want to click on that and that will bring you onto the latest version. As you can see, I've got it up and running on here and it's looking really good. I like the look of this, it is nice. So the bit you've all been waiting for, does DaVinci Resolve work? Let's fire it up and see. Well, it's looking good so far. Things are starting to work. I've got project files appearing. All right, so this is one of the timelines for a tutorial I made in the past. I'm just going to check through everything, make sure it's working, and then I'll get back to you and let you know what's happening. So the timeline playback's pretty smooth. Everything seems to be working pretty normally. I'm going to do the most important test, which is the export test. So I'm on an M2 Mac Ultra and the export is flying through. This is a video I did for a project review and it's all looking good so far. I already saw our project's exported. Let's have a look. We've got a spinning beach ball. It's thinking about something. Oh, okay, so it's uh, doing a project backup. That's fine, that's pretty normal. Let's close that and I'm gonna test our file, see how it looks. So here's our test file. Ooh, it's a nice interface this is. Well, the good news is the export is absolutely perfect. So it's got color grades on it, it's got uh, sound mixing on it, and it's all working spot on. Uh, I haven't found any problems with it yet, but if I do, I'll let you guys know. From what I can tell, everything seems to be working pretty normally. I haven't encountered any bugs yet. By the way, guys, if you want, I've got a free DaVinci Resolve project file, like, exactly like the one I'm using here, where it's got all the video tracks ready to go, all your audio tracks. So you've got like dialogue, voiceover, sound effects, you've got like music and ambience tracks, and they're all catalogued as well. So DaVinci knows what each one is. So if you do use the AI audio leveling, 
Uh, it makes that super easy. And there's also color grades built into the pack and it's completely free. So head over to davinciresolvetitles.com and grab yourself a project file. And while you're there, a uh, free title pack. And there's also YouTube like and subscribe titles. And speaking of like and subscribe, hit that like button and smash that subscribe. And if you didn't like it, hit that dislike twice. And thanks for watching.